What's up everyone? Welcome to Backcountry Live. Today we're going to be out ripping in the, in the desert with some good dirt. We're excited, but today we're going to talk a little bit about Logan and Logan's uh, 2017 KTM 150XCW and why he's selling. Stick around. Welcome back. So like we said before, we're going to be talking about Logan and his uh, 2017 KTM 150 XCW. And so we've been ha we've had this bike for how many years now? Uh, I bought it in 18. Yeah, you bought 20, it in 18. 2018. So it for a year and change. Yeah. So let's before we jump into why 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 you're upgrading, but let's let's talk about what you love about this bike. So being new to the sport or new-ish to the sport, um, it's an amazing bike to learn throttle control, to okay. learn. So newish to the sport, how long you been riding? So I've been riding for what, two, geez, yeah, two, little, two and a half years. About two years in total. Yeah, right? yeah. He broke total. his finger and had to take some time off during one of the. Few, few months yeah, off to, so. <laughs> to recover from a broken finger, but. All right, so go back to why you. So, so yeah, so as far as, um, why I like this bike the the uh, clutch control um, that it teaches you positioning because it's a lot more like a um, mountain bike uh, coming from a mountain bike background it definitely um, there, there's a change right it, it doesn't translate exactly I, right. we, we like to say that um, I have a lot of experience just because of that history but there is, there are differences and um, because the power is not scary. We say that a lot with this bike. Is it's it, it has power, but it's it's not scary. It's not 300 or 250 scary uh, power, and so it allows you to learn management. And it, it does make you work for it a little bit here and there. But that's that's what I love about it. Is it it does it makes you work for the power that it has, and that teaches you how to use the clutch, how to use the throttle. Um, and and how to position yourself on the bike and and you have to work the suspension you can't uh just rely on the throttle yeah and you've talked to me a bunch about how you just felt like it was so nimble and you could just throw it around and you know that's true with this bike it does feel lighter than uh, say a bigger board bike uh it is it doesn't have the power but i, I don't want to say it's under power under, yeah. that's not really the right thing it's just where it makes the power is a little bit different you got to stay up on the pipe like or up on the higher RPMs to make more of the power. But that also is really fun. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, like you said, as far as being light, it is the lightest big bike that we've ever ridden, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, I think it's the lightest big, bike. big bike. So just yeah. sheer weight, regardless of what it feels, it actually, just in weight, um, as, as of the bikes that we've ridden and, and weighed, it's the lightest. So not only does it feel like light, to me, it actually is light. Now, some people argue that it maybe it doesn't feel as light as it is because you can't lift the front as easy because you can't just throttle. Oh, right. You don't use the um, throttle. But, but, then that's but it's still it was, light. It <laughs> like, is still light, and it, it, it's really nimble, and like you we always joke that it's a mountain bike with a motor. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is, is because it does feel light and nimble. And you got to use a little more technique, like Logan was saying, to get it to perform better, but that's actually good. That's fun. Like can't be as lazy and you know if you're trying to improve your riding skills and get better that's a great bike to learn on and to well I, can't, I don't even I mean the learn on is great but you could ride this bike for a long time in fact we've heard pros say that you know like guys like me and Logan who are just normal weekend warriors can't even handle or really fully <laughs> tap in the power of like a 150 or 125 two-stroke and that's that's fine and you know everyone needs to make a decision for what they you know what works best for them but at the end of the day like this is a really 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 fun bike and always puts a smile on my face when i ride it uh what are some things you maybe don't like about it um definitely out in the desert um in the sand uh, we've taken it uh, a couple times in the sand and it's it, it can do 
a lot of stuff really well. Trail is it's definitely where it, it lives and breathes is on yeah, that single track. Absolutely. But when you get out into the desert, and it can hang with some of the big bikes, and, and most, of, most of the time I'm hanging just fine with the big bikes, but you get out in that desert and it's noticeable. It's, it's a night and day, you feel in the sand weaker than the big bikes. That's true, and I did notice that. And, but like anything, you just adjust your riding style and you just have to ride it harder and the higher in the RPMs and shift more, which it's rideable. Not a bad, you can yeah, ride it. Yeah, you can ride it out bad, there. It's just, you know, it's just and different. In, in capable hands, it, like we always say, it's the rider, not the bike. <laughs> but the one cool thing is, like Logan said, is if you're wanting to get into a two stroke, but you're unsure, you don't know if you want to get a fire breathing dragon and get a 250 or 300 two stroke, this is a great option to kind of bridge that gap. Like we say, in single track, it's phenomenal. It's just really fun to ride in, in single track. And if that's all you do, that's, you know, that's great. And that's what you, you should buy a bike like this. Um, but it won't rip your arms off. And so it won't kill you when you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you don't get whiskey throttle as much. Never been thrown to the ground. Yeah, or, or, when, you're or get over the back. when you're getting tired or something like that and you're going to do like a law crossing or something like that like sometimes like the bigger bikes just beat that the crap out of you and uh, you know and you know that's 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 fine but so that's something to consider when you're thinking about you know the differences between a bigger bore two stroke versus a smaller uh two two stroke so now this now that you've ridden this for a couple years um i know you really didn't want to sell this bike what what made you think okay maybe i will sell this um, honestly, the, the, the one big thing was that the rides we've been on, um, the, the guys you ride with determine a lot of the bikes that you're going to end up getting. So don't ride with friends <laughs> to buy new stuff. Cause then that's a big mistake. You know, it's expensive. Mistake. It's, it's an expensive mistake for sure. The riding, riding the, the bigger bikes, the, the two fifties, three hundreds, um, it, it, it showed me that, I, that there's there, there's more out there, honestly. And it, it's not even necessarily that I want those bikes specifically. It's there are different bikes out there that I haven't experienced yet. Um, and, and we want to. I mean, we want to try out some of these other bikes and and specifically being, again, new to the, to the you know, the hobby. It's it's something that I want to try out it's these other hobby, bikes. Guys, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. <laughs> this is backcountry life. Um, it's it's something that I, I want to try out these other bikes because there's things, for example, with this 150, I can pull the throttle completely in any gear and not be scared. Even in first gear, I can pop the clutch and pull the throttle all the way and not be scared. You can't do that on a 250. And so there's a little bit of, you have to learn different bike management control skills that I just didn't learn on this bike. This, this bike taught me a lot, but it didn't teach me everything. And other bikes will teach you different things. And that's, that's what I came to understand. And, and it's when I realized, no, I haven't reached my full potential on this bike, but there's other bikes that I want to try out and maybe come back to this someday. Yeah, so it's not because you're unhappy with it. No. And not that you couldn't ride it for the next umpteen years. Uh, that's the thing that people, like, I always think about it. Would I be better off on a smaller bore bike? The answer to that is probably yeah. You know, I'd be able to handle the power better. It'd probably help with my skills. Um, but, you know, like anything, we kind of get, we get, you know, told that we need these big, powerful bikes. And that's okay. Like, buy whatever you, you want. We don't, that's not what this this video is about it's really just giving you information about the you know the 150 that it, how capable it is kind of where it fits in, in it's the underrepresented world. yeah it's totally yeah. we feel like it's under uh, underrepresented there, there should be more of this bike this the 150 the 200s there should be more of them out yeah, there absolutely i totally agree with that and you know and that makes us like we always joke is like it's hard though because you know it's your hard-earned money a lot of us can only afford one dirt bike you know and, and our wives always get mad when we have more than one bike in the in the garage so it's tough like we get it but if i could own a second bike i probably would get a bike like this a smaller bore two stroke that just could handle the woods and be in the tight technical woods and just be really fun completely different from you know like a bigger uh 250 or 300 xc or sx or something like that two stroke but 
So we've talked about kind of what we love and kind of what we don't love about the bike and kind of the reasons why you're selling it, which isn't because you don't like it, it's just because you want to try something different. So what what kind of bike are you thinking about doing? What what are your options? So really, I mean, we're, we're looking at a whole bunch of different bikes. Probably not an orange bike this next time around. <gasps> um, we're probably looking at uh, Yamaha, Beta, Maybe even a gas gas if we can find it. If we can find a gas gas, a good deal on a gas gas. Gas gas, if you're watching this, <laughs> we want to try and buy one out. Well, because like if we think about it, like Beta and gas gas, especially they they have a 200 two stroke. Yep. So that might be That's... something you know that would be just to see what the difference is since we've spent a lot of time on that to see how how it compares. And I actually think gas gas even makes um, a like an XC style 200 where it's more for the wide open versus the technical. I think Betas is just their RR, it's not even the race edition, um, which is more for uh, single track and uh, you know tech technical stuff. So Beta, I mean, pretty much any two stroke, like 300, 250, yep. 200, uh, preferably when you wanna try a race edition versus uh, just a standard RR, um, there are some differences that we won't go into too, too de much detail on that but the reason why is just a comparison for more of what we're familiar with and the other one is the yamaha yz 250 x that's a really fun bike it's one of my favorite bikes we want to try that out doesn't have electric start i don't know if that will be a big deal to us or not i the magic button does help i think it, it w will but it is something different than what we're currently doing uh, riding with and you know the whole purpose of like backcountry life is to try new things out and we're going to be out here turning burning perfect dirt it's perfect weather it's actually getting a little cold but once we get moving it won't be so bad so it just rained good. so you know this is like a powder day for the you know the, <laughs> the snowboarders and skiers so we're really excited to be out here to ride but so we want to also then just give you different opinions and you know information about different bikes because there's a lot of cool bikes out there i think a lot of these like the yamaha the beta and the gas gas and even Sherco. You kind of get underserved and kind of you know overshadowed by the the bigger brands uh, as far as the two strokes go so we just kind of want to shed a little bit more light on that and and so stay tuned we we're not 100 percent sure what bike we're gonna get uh, this most is likely not orange it's, likely it's not really orange. orange right here but it won't be for long if we can find a good deal i can't you know really <laughs> no promises deal we can find on a, a used bike but um so this is a kind of our last ride on the 150 it's actually up for sale right now so we're gonna uh, we're gonna ride it and go burn in the desert and see what we can do. But anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Uh, Sam and Logan with Backcountry Life. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to comment. Let us know what bikes you guys have in the comments below or like what bike you want us to uh, review and maybe we'll figure out how to buy one and, and do a review as well on that. And thanks for watching.